I'm dying. They finally caught me. The, they got me. It's my seasonal cold I get every spring. This finally caught me. I thought I could avoid it. But now I'm gonna fucking die. And by fucking die, I mean the stream is gonna be like possibly shorter. I had to go over 20 miles every day to get to school growing up. That's a lot of gas. That sucks eggs. Why didn't you simply give up? <laughs> and like escape into the woods. Look, dude, here's the thing. By the time that I have offspring, which is what I choose to describe them as rather than children, uh, <laughs> uh, there will be certainly, and this is, no, this is not a, this is not a, this is not a throwback to cryptocurrency. That, that, that ship has sailed. But I will say that realistically, there will probably be uh, viable enough online education options that uh, there's no fucking way I'm sending one of my kids to one of those disgusting elementary schools. I just won't fucking do it. If there's like a if there's like an online option, I just won't fucking do it. Not because I don't, not because I think they'll be like miserable, but because I know how fucking disgusting children are, and I know that my disgusting child will then somehow bring diseases back to the fucking house, like a disgusting fucking animal, and I'll get sick like every day. So that's just not happening. It's either they get homeschooled or they go to boarding school. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do this exchange shit. <laughs> like we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let the child <laughs> go like fishing for germs every day. I just won't allow it. <laughs> every time I see my niece and now nephew, I come back contracting typhoid. I don't think I've ever seen one child in my entire fucking life wash their hands properly. I fear children so much because I'm only now in the last two years so conscious of just how fucking vile they all are. I kind of support, like, you know how, you know how those like jokes about like, oh, this, th th this was like, this kid grew up in a bubble. Maybe the bubble isn't to keep out the germs. Maybe it is to keep in the germs, <laughs> their germs from us. When I am elected president, once the children have completed their obligatory seven years inside the crypto brain mines, <laughs> they, they will be placed in comically sized children hamster balls and they will roll everywhere. They will roll everywhere until their germs have been contained for good. I will represent all humanity in protecting us. I'm right. Anyone that disagrees is a sicko that likes germs. <sighs> the problem is that, Chad, if I tried to run for any kind of political office, Tomato Fortnite would immediately run opposing me and win and thrash me and totally disgrace me in front of everyone. So what's the point? Time to make your own platform. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I simply make my own platform? The Tomatoverse. Tomatogaming.com legally can't have that. Uh, that's being held by some shithead fucking, like, internet distribution like a uh, url thing that's trying to because they know i'm a like a streamer that makes money they're trying to charge me like twenty thousand dollars to get it so they can suck my dick <laughs> i i laughed in their face when they emailed me about it dude my my brand is is liquid you know i can go any way with it that i want it'll just slide over there no problem big load huge i could get a website called i don't want to get a website called huge load i think Anything with load is going to cause brand issues as far as a website is concerned. Because <laughs> you can't Google that. <laughs> you just can't. Hugeload.com. <laughs> I could get involved in that industry. The options are there. I just tried Googling it. You are correct. Brave. This game's got a look. <laughs> This has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, by the way. Like, I know you're like, all like, hee hee, it's a mobile game. This game's $15 and has overwhelmingly positive reviews at like 97%. So I don't care what this game's visual display is. Something about it underneath the hood has to be good. <laughs> Gorilla, move there. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't you walk like a gorilla? Why, you, why is he walking like a like a like a like a like a guy at the gym? Let's get let's get a couple suicide sues. 
Let's get a small number of suicide Sues in. Sue, what's your deal? What exactly is your deal? Oh my god! Wait, a bunch of them died. So? I lost. Most of them jumped over the enemies and then knocked, bonked their heads and died. Can we clear all Sues? Clear all Sues from the battlefield. She jumps over them, completely misses, lands, and dies. Well, I'm gonna summon a bunch of commando bows. We got guns, I'm pretty sure, is the deal with these guys. Whoa! Holy shit! Anything else that I'm desperately gonna need to know? Take control of the FPS avatar and reach one of the red flags in the tower. You can destroy the tower with a grenade launcher. This game's got fucking destruction, man. Is this possibly a good game? Dude, you know what that gave me flashbacks to? Boom blocks. I just started thinking about boom blocks. This game is worth exactly $15. <laughs> that's, now that's a review I've never heard before for a video game. This game is worth exactly its asking price and not a cent more or less, so help me God. We battled for so long against the humans that we forgot that the animals too wanted a wanted a piece of the action and they've risen against us we'll do it how they did it back in the day bows just a lot of bows all right chat awful lot of bows backed up to the corner of the abyss and i will personally command him to run away and distract the enemy no 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 run that way run that way get out of there Get out of there, man! You gotta get out of there! Run that way! Oh! And my voice cracked. Embarrassing. Ah, oh, they're all dead. They're pushing each other over to get away! You gotta get out of there, Shaggy! They come, they're ripping and they're ripping them to shreds! Shaggy, no! Not the edge! Oh, you don't want to land like that. That is why you use the winged hussars. Are you giving me unironic backseating advice for... I'm sorry, I'm checking my notes here. Animal Revolt Battle Simulator? All right, hussars. Do your thing. How did these guys do? Doesn't look like they did very well. <laughs> Looks like they're losing. Looks like they're losing. They're losing. They lost. It seems like the solution is regularly many archers, a couple distractions, and then just like a large selection of actual tank characters. And that kind of, that kind of solves these. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the gators. I don't think they're gonna be able to do much. Look at this. This one doesn't even know what's happening yet. How are they? What? Guys, it... guys, get the Triceratopses. Oh no. That one's taking some hope for later. <laughs> they're too strong. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> The horses just didn't stand a chance. These guys were too flat. And after all of those guys were dead, these spiky dinosaurs were all like, guys, there's still time for more of us to get involved. And the hippos were like, I'm just gonna join in. And there were also snakes there. They made a big mistake though, because we activated time travel and summoned many bold billies. And they were fucking PO'd. They all took that fighting stance. Get them. Oh, listen to that slap sound. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the billies. Punch that hippo in the head! What the fuck is going on over there? Hang on, that's cheating. Where'd that snake come from? Where'd these snakes come from? What? Okay, I don't think Billy's gonna be able to beat these guys. Even in his guaranteed death, he still got those fucking fighting eyes, dude. I didn't hear no bell. This should mean, this should be better for us. Unfortunately, the horses, oh yeah, the horses didn't last very long. But the bats are working well. 
Beat the crap out of that guy. Get him. This person lost. <laughs> oh, no. No, the snakes are so strong. Someone fucking kill those snakes now. Why are they both spinning everyone? I see they've escalated. Billy. Put this on your head. Go. That's not fair. That's not fair, they have guns. Okay, here we go. Three billies are not enough to blow up one, okay. All right, one dynamite's not enough to blow up a single one of these things. What about what about two dynamite per guy? What about two dynamite? Two dynamite is officially, oh, this dragon's fucked. All you gotta do is shoot that dragon out of the goddamn sky, boys! It's over. After the dragon was dead, obviously the next battle was going to be between dinosaurs, dead guys from some of the last fights that I accidentally just kind of threw into the fight, and a big snake with a lot of snake bodies attached. This is it. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for, true war, true battle. Kill them! Rip them to shreds, kill the skeletons, get to the fight! It's time, it's just the Hydra now. There's so many guys on the tail. Get him. Yeah, that's what it, oh. Some heads are already dead. I think we've got it. There's only one head still alive. But I don't want to jinx it because there's not many of our guys left. down to you, man. Kill him. Finish the fight. Finish it, man. Yes! He's under it alive! He's alive! He lived! The champ! And that's when the big cows with legs and arms showed up, which was really like a bad scene. And it looks like they're trying to hide something behind, which is um, Omega Super Duper Gorilla. Is that a fucking like dinosaur sentry tower? I'm gonna need every coal we have. And every one of those coals will have one harpoon strapped to their head. Cole, don't do that! Okay, okay, reset, 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 reset. I want to ask, I want an important question to be answered. Can I just add like a many suicide sues, but like kind of everywhere? How does that work? Gorilla's dead! It's not. Bro, it came down to the last suicide sue in the corner. Hang on. Wait, no, we just need this one suicide suit to have a harpoon, but we need one survivor. One of these calls will live. Call. Take this harpoon. And this dynamite. That was the darkest thing I've ever done in my life. It's over! And Call is still alive. One of them, he's shell-shocked. Yeah, just watch another call get attacked, get like blown up. But the center of the fight is obviously going to be Gore and his Berserker Goblins. Here we go. The skeleton came back from the dead for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, uh, this changes the game. Fantasy and reptiles. Yeah, these, yeah, fantastic reptiles. Snakes. Oh, you know I'm adding snakes. All right, snakes. Get him! I think we lost. Okay, well that was the goof round. Now it's time for me to take this seriously, because now you guys pissed me off. I summoned big snakes. Get him! Oh yeah, numbers game is starting to come over to my side. Bro? Bro? 
That's fine, that's fine, because that was also a goof one, because obviously everyone knew the best enemies to fight these guys would be huge men. Okay, huge guys, let's get in there. Look at the scale difference. Look at the, they simply, the rhinos don't stand a chance. The headbutt. They just, that one just broke that rhinoceros' fucking neck. It died standing up. Oh my god, he just broke that polar bear's back in one punch. I heard a crack. Huge man. Pick him up and break him. Oh my god. The elephants arrived at the battlefield. Elephants really, like, if you look at them from, like, a side angle, they look like fucking idiots. <laughs> Let me be honest. Front angle? Kind of scary if you can get past their butt head. But, from the side? They just kind of stupid looking. Matter of fact, I would argue most, most animals look like fucking idiots. Look, elephants? kill humans all the time just by casually walking over them. I'd like to see how these elephants handle fighting an actual big boy. What are the giraffes even gonna do, man? They can't do- they're like just giraffes. They've dispatched all the small threats! The huge men are coming in from behind! They're just punching these giraffes- Oh, Jesus Christ! The giraffe's neck! It's over. What did you think was gonna fucking happen, you Stupid mammal. Our first battle of the night, folks, is, of course, going to be Brave Salmon versus me. Yeah, I had. <laughs> I didn't spawn a weapon for myself. <laughs> I need a weapon. This isn't fair if I don't have a weapon. End of the line, you salmon freak. Everyone's been asking about how the mutant Megalodon does against... NFTs. Let's see if a mutant megalodon can handle the concept of non-fungible tokens. He just summoned a Bitcoin attack, and it doesn't look like the Bitcoin's really doing much to stop the... Doesn't look like cryptocurrency really matters to the megalodon at all. It doesn't look like he has a crypto wallet. The megalodon has activated... Oh, it looks like it's all over, folks. <laughs> NFT guy, and he's been devoured. I actually saw this in the workshop, and I was like, this looks ridiculously large-scale. How big is... All right, chat, so let's see how uh, the Tara Dithis matches against... The he fell. That's like That was like $18 billion of taxpayer money to build the Tara Dithis, one of the most powerful dinosaurs in the entire world. Let's see how the Tara Dithis goes up against everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite little guy. You know when you love it? It's the Komodo Dragon. <gasps> and Tardis has fallen back off of the map again. Let's see if the Komodo Dragon can defeat legs of the humankind. The legs are kicking. Legs are twisting really hard. Whoa. Let's see if the Komodo Dragon is more powerful than a T-Rex with plasma laser beams, but it can only aim up. Come on, the, 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 he's coming! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Nature can be so disgusting and cruel. Oh my God. Let's see if a Komodo Dragon is powerful enough to beat that threat. If we added some kind of weapon, I am, of course, talking about a boxing glove head. Let's see if the Komodo Dragon can beat this one. <laughs> one clean hit's all he needs. Oh, did you hear that slap? Komodo Dragon's still alive! Ooh! We just got a call from Komodo Dragon's family. He's dropping out of the fight. How strong is a wild hog? Many people ask this. 
Is, is wild hog as strong as... Is wild hog as strong as the cube? <laughs> Animals are so fucking stupid. This hog has no fucking idea. It's just a fucking cube. It can't die. It's a cube. It died. Would you say that hog could handle cube with with arm? Can hog handle ar cube with arm to punch at hog? Get fucked! Get fucked! Get out of here, you stupid animal! Woo! It's as simple as that, man! Don't ever come back! Hog has lost, which means now we pick the next animal that we believe may be able to beat Cube with arm. Cube with arm versus Gollum from the Hell Realms. I believe in you. They're punching. They're punching. It seems that Cube with arm has lost the fight. Which means now we have to escalate the cube with arm. People said that the cube wasn't relatable enough. So we decided to add some new parts to the cube to make it more visually distinct. And here's what we came up with. What do we add to cube to make him powerful enough to kill this monster? The audience have repeatedly confirmed with me that they dislike the fact that the cube has lost fights. Which is why we have added multiple rocket launchers to the cube in place of where his arm would have been if we still had arms to add. It's not dead yet. Oh, it's dead. So now the question really does, the, it begs the question, what could defeat a cube at this level? It, perhaps Godzilla could defeat the cube. Let's see if God. Let's see if Godzilla can defeat Cube. Cause Cube have missile. Cube. Cube's full of so much hate. I feel like it's going to be difficult for Godzilla to defeat the Cube. What with the distance he has to travel. Cube. Cube! By God, he got cut in half. His relatable mask and helmet and glasses meant nothing. We are un. Audiences have confirmed that they actually hated Cube. They hated looking at Cube. Audiences have confirmed they like animals. They like animals and they want to see more animal style things in the game. Well, we're going back to basics. I hate knowing that this thing has junk. You know what I mean? Like, I hate knowing it has a bulge. We've asked audiences and therefore gone back to basics. People did not like knowing that the creature had a, a junk. Wait, no, people are saying that they like the junk. People are saying they love the junk. People are saying they love it. Okay, well, then we're in, we're gonna do it. It's like arms. It's like, it's just like the, it's just like the popular Nintendo franchise arms. It's it really, I could, I could, I can imagine this in my mind's eye, the black void that's my mind's eye, where all I see is this gorilla duking it out with Kirby. Like I, I could imagine this sort of cracking open, you know, the abyss, all the, at, like all the characters from Smash live in. It's not Minecraft Steve or Sora this time, it's uh, Gorilla, an un a never announced character from the ARMS franchise. Let's see how he does against Godzilla. He I didn't even get the chance to fucking pan over before he was dead. Hey, Tomato, results just came back. The kid's like wheels more than legs. Yeah, be fucking kidding me. Results are in. People are saying they like the wheels. When does my show get canceled? That's what I'm wondering. Because I keep getting, I keep peep, the, the, the market keeps giving me money. They keep encouraging this behavior. I keep, I keep doing these crimes to these living things. And they keep saying more money, take more of our money, keep doing whatever it is you want to do. Now that's bad ace. Test audiences love them. That's the thing. Test audiences fucking love this guy. Like uh, we've already got, we've already got merch coming out for this thing. Like people love him. People love him. It's genuinely one of the best characters we've ever come up with. And let's see how well, we put a lot of speed into that into that that wheel too. Oh no! <laughs> Cancel the merch quick. We already spent all of it. This isn't about money anymore. It's not about it's not about making the audiences happy. 
It's about winning. Even if I gotta load up this poor bastard with so much DT, it causes a fucking miniature nuclear winter on this side of the planet. It's time. People say they really like the spider. Just need a big fucking platform. The only way to defeat Godzilla's one laser is by adding multiple lasers to ours. So many that it's impossible for him to survive the attack. We have created a monstrosity. Go, my son! I cannot fucking believe how fast Godzilla's draw is, how big he is. Isn't like there a fucking law like in physics about that? Like his heart, he shouldn't be able to move his, he shouldn't be able to shouldn't be able to process what's happening that fast. People want throwbacks in this show. That's why we're gonna add a dynamic third team to the game. And everyone knows who it's gonna be. You all know who it's gonna be. It's gonna be, it's gonna be Cube with an arm. Everyone's favorite guy. Godzilla is now seriously hit both with one attack. How many wild boars do you think it takes to uh, kill a uh, Godzilla? Let's say 200. Let's say 200 hogs is enough to defeat the Godzilla. You made a big fucking mistake fucking with me, you little bastard! Devour him, my children! Feast on him before my computer breaks down! God, it's like ants. They didn't ask for this. Oh, you could see the FPS raise the second he killed 90% of them in one attack. He got killed. Am I fighting him like this when everyone knows all we need to win is get a real gamer down there? They missed. They fucking instantly messed up big time. It's all coming down to me, dude. There's only one thing that exists that's strong enough to beat it. And it's the Tarothidus. We created this thing with a, the help of a lot of scientists. And we wanted to ask what could possibly be stronger than Godzilla. We've been, this guy's been holding the ratings hostage for this show for years because we can't legally kick him off according to his contract. What we can do is escalate in such an obscenely ridiculous degree that it's physically impossible for him to beat it. Let's see what happens next. It looks like the Godzilla somehow did an attack that hurt my uh, guy so bad he blew up a little. Godzilla's dead. He's dead! It's over! Now the, the dang studios say that now we legally have to field the Tarotha. This is on the enemy team. What do you think has a better chance of winning? One Komodo dragon, or one Tarotha Dotha Dotha this. Let's get this party started. Okay. Where'd my, what happened to my cube? All right, the show's canceled. Apparently that means that we're, we can now cancel the show. Uh, we're keeping all of the money. We're going off the grid.